Hey everybody, what's up? It's Ashlyn here. Sorry the light's like really crappy, but anyway, I look like total crap, but we're gonna do a video anyway because we can. Alright, so as you guys know, I have been part of the library for a while now out here, and we just started our adult, um, reading program for the summer, <laughs> and unfortunately, I personally already finished it as of today, and it started on Monday. So, okay, so we have the adults 18 plus can participate by competing, completing a bookmark featuring 10 challenges. The bookmarks will be available at the adult desk beginning May 20th. Um, turn in a completed bookmark by August 1st to be entered for a chance to win one of three prize packages. There's the Cosmosphere package, which is two adult tickets, gas gift card, Applebee's gift card, and a space book. There's the Stargazing package, which is the Stellar Scope, Reclining Camp Chair, Planisphere Camping Blanket, and then the Lake package, which is an insulated cooler, an inflatable kayak, a waterproof cell phone pouch, and a hammock. Well, unfortunately... As I said, I already completed it, and I'm the first one, <laughs> imagine that, to complete it. I can't remember all the challenges that were on it. Um, I know there was visit the Kansas room, um, borrow a book from the Kansas room, uh, something to watch, something to listen to, something space related. Uh, ask about resource uh, other references and resources at the library and then there was the new book section then there was an event at the library and then there were two more I can't remember right off the top of my head right now but anyway yep that is that and like I said I already completed it and then there's all these special events going on in June and there's a crafter noon and a pub trivia, which is Marvel Universe. And then in July, there's uh, the sci-fi film Back to the Future. And a crafter noon again. And then at the end of July is a pub trivia of Stranger Things. So, I thought that was really cool and exciting. So, that is that. See? Came like this. Um, a couple of the things I got for that was Men in Black <coughs> as my space. This is from the new book section. It's great to suck at something by Karen Rinaldi. And then this is from the Kansas Room. It's the man from the train, the solving of a century old serial killer mystery by Bill James. And this was actually recommended to me. It's a Kansas notable book, State Library of Kansas. So that's pretty interesting. It's got a award sticker on it. And then there was something else. Um, there was a Stephen Hawking book that I was reading. I don't remember what it's called now. And then there was something else and something else. But unfortunately, Ashlyn finished all that. So I don't think you care about my music that I listen to or I'm going through or things like that. So that is the library edition. Alright, and next we have something really surprising, and the reason I say it's surprising is because I literally got it out of nowhere, completely forgot, oh, excuse me, it's like 7 o'clock at night, um, but I completely forgot that this was still connected to my library, or my library, I'm looking at library books, sorry, to my credit card, and I got my ipsy for may it's a very very beautiful bag i have to admit it gives me single de mayo vibes cardi cardi b <laughs> i don't even know what i'm trying to say right now i'm so tired but when i opened it i saw the bag i was like oh my gosh that bag is gorgeous and then i saw this this is a 22E shade and a 22E blend brush by Farah, and it's like this holographic color. It's 
so pretty and it's really soft but my thing is when I first saw it I was like now how am I supposed to store this so the bristles on the brush don't get ruined so if anybody has an idea of that I would really appreciate it and before I get into anything else right now I want to go ahead and ask you guys to um, like and subscribe to my channel I could use all of the subscribers necessary I'm still a small youtuber right now and that's totally fine by me because this is something I do in my pastime and it's a lot of fun to me um and yeah all right, now I can't lie <laughs> I as soon as I got this I opened it and I was like I have to see what else is in here because the Farrah the brush double sided brush really got me like wondering what it was in the bag it's just again look at that I I just can't get over that that is gorgeous but anyway the first thing I see when I open it is this eye pencil in sage gold and I'm not gonna swatch anything tonight but this is actually kind of worn right now on my eyes. I wish the lighting was a lot better, but it's not, and that's okay. But this is by Pixie by Petra. And I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. It goes on so smoothly, too. And it's just so creamy. Beautiful color, too. Um, okay. Next thing we have is this big old thing here and it's an in this free pore clearing clay mask with super volcanic clusters and it's a 0.67 fluid ounce um it's just basically like a no smell to it but it looks like this and it's a clay mask in there you just dip your finger in and apply it or use your brush or whatever however you do your clay masks I don't care that's your cup of tea not mine um there is this card and this says the May 2019 Etsy glam bag keep your head in the clouds and walk barefoot in the grass believe in the power of lipstick but know that your glow comes from within Throw caution to the breeze, embrace your wind-blown hair, buy flowers for yourself, write love notes to your friends, wake up to watch the sunrise, sneak back under the covers. Hashtag Itsy Daydream. And it looks like this. It's really pretty. It was not what I was expecting though. I was kind of disappointed. Because it says build your dream bag every month on the 2nd at 9 a.m. Eastern. You'll have a chance to add on whatever deluxe samples or full-size products you like. Mark your calendar and create your ultimate beauty stash. Don't give up on your daydreams. Glam Bag Plus is finally here. And unfortunately, it didn't have the information on how much everything is. So, I don't know. I was kind of bummed about that. But anyway, these last two things that we got are in these beautiful packages. I think this is the INM Velveteen Dream Eyeshadow. I'm not missing out. It's beautiful packaging. I mean, absolutely gorgeous and cute. Give me one second while I try and open this. I'm not going to do it on camera because I struggled so bad when I first got it. Alright, sorry about that. So, this is the INM Velveteen Dream Shadow. It's by in Super Base. And it's absolutely beautiful if you open it. And I swatched it when I first got it, so don't mind that little. Yeah, but it's gorgeous. It's iridescent and it's absolutely beautiful. Holographic. So fun. It, come, it, go, it goes on really smooth and light though so I think you can build it but I'm not sure and then of course the last thing we have is the radiant glow highlighter by IBY beauty and if you guys don't know I got 24 karat magic and if you guys don't know IBY is like amazing I like their actual product packaging better I have one of these in blue but this is my little highlight and this is in um, 24 karat magic I believe the shade is or it's radiant glow I'm not sure there's two different ones on there but it's absolutely gorgeous 
and that is my ipsy and this bag actually is going to my roommate because she saw it and she's like oh, can i have it and i'm like yeah that's fine um here is a little spoiler for you guys i might actually be redoing my ipsy again um, it's only $10 a month, and if I stick to that, I'll be fine, but if they make me do the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, um, I'm not going to continue with Ipsy, and I don't do BoxyCharm anymore because they're too set on traditional natural colors, and I like bright, funky, fun colors, so if y'all know a subscription out there that has that kind of makeup, let your girl know because she wants to know. <laughs> Alright, and then there was something else I wanted to talk to you guys about, but I'm not sure. Give me one second to think. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So, <laughs> your girl broke her glasses again. Now if you look closely, you can see where I super glued it once already. So, yeah, and then I broke them again, and then they just broke again. I was literally this close at bingo today to win an all-expense-paid trip for three nights to Las Vegas, Nevada. And there was only one, and I had a bingo after this last one was called, and my glasses, I got excited and I jumped and I moved too fast and my glasses just went off my face onto my bingo card. Well, see, I had to make sure I had all of the right spots covered and while I was doing that, they called another number and then the lady next to me got a bingo and she took my Vegas trip. So, and girl's not happy. But, I mean, I guess it's alright because I still want another bingo. I mean, I got a crossword puzzles book, volume 102, I guess. So, that's cool, I guess, you know. I mean, it would have been awesome at a free event at your local library to win an all-expense paid trip for three nights to Las Vegas, Nevada. But, it happens. So... Yeah, I wasn't very happy, but it's okay. But anyway, now on to a little bit more of a serious note. I wanted to talk a little bit about what May is. Um, it's been very emotional for me, very stressful. Um, just so much going on. There's a lot of personal issues I'm going through right now or past issues that are coming back up because it's, you know, time... Um, three years ago I went through something pretty traumatic and it's kind of my fault and kind of not it just depends on really how you look at things but um, I'm not gonna go into detail about that because I'm not ready to have that discussion with YouTube yet oh my god you got to see this guys do you see her she is literally in there what are you doing Mara. And she's gone. <laughs> okay, sorry. Back to my serious moment. <laughs> okay, so May is... Hello? Okay, sorry. Okay, so May is National Mental Health Awareness Month. And... I just want to say to those that suffer from mental health that you are not alone and it will get better and sometimes you just have to have your crazy pills <laughs> or your chill pills or whatever pills it is that you take that you need. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not the end of the world. It doesn't mean there's something wrong. Well, I mean, there is something wrong with you. You have a chemical imbalance. But what I'm trying to say is it doesn't mean that you're a horrible person for it. Um, just some of us were made differently than others. And I just wanted to say that you can overcome things. Um, I wanted to also say suicide is not the answer. 
there are tons of people out there that would really miss you and want to be with you or want to see you succeed in life and I don't know what my cat's eating. What are you doing? What is with that face? Come here. Um, come here. Hold on. Um, I definitely want to say too, you need to get your guys' spells on Mara because this little thing right here, I've had her since she was five weeks old and she has been a lifesaver. I mean, she is an amazing therapy cat. She's my baby. She's my pet. She makes my hard days better. My rainy days brighter. Yeah. And she's so understanding. Like, literally, she understands when I need her the most. Like, right now, she's like, Mom, you don't need me right now. I'm gonna go. But, um, I don't want to get choked up because she literally has saved my life. Not, like, in the state of life or death. Well, I mean, I mean, kind of. There have been those times that I felt like I wasn't good enough and I just wanted to slip my wrist open. Not gonna lie. I mean, that's pretty graphic, but adult content here. Sorry. But, um, no, she's honestly been a blessing and I'm totally rambling and you guys are gonna be fine with that because I do have one more thing I need to do I need to pick books from the TBR jar and then I also made a bookshelf TBR jar of my books that I have on my shelf so I'm gonna go ahead and grab those and I will be right back and I just wanted to say again those of you that suffer from mental health you're not alone I suffer from it too, believe it or not. I mean, sometimes you can tell, sometimes you can't. So, you know, it gets better. I promise. Alright, so on to decently happier things. Let's go ahead and choose from our TBR bowl here. We're going to choose... I'm going to do two to be safe. Um, and I do have eight books already read, by the way, guys. So, yeah. Your girl's been reading her ass off. So we got one, two, oh, I said two, ha, huh, my bad. And then we're going to go ahead and pick one from this new bookshelf TBR. I, it's not the greatest, but hey, it works. One. All right, let's see what we got from the bookshelf. We are going to be reading... I heard that song before by Mary Higgins Clark. And then we pulled Unashamed by Christine Kane, which I think Unashamed is actually on Hoopla. So I can listen to the audiobook, so that's awesome. And then Night Shift by Stephen King. Ooh, that's going to be a hefty one. But I can probably get through it. I think I can. At least by... I want to say by, like, the first week of June I should have these three done. On top of my other ones that I have. Yep. You guys know it. I'm a reader. So I got this. Okay. This is actually from the children's department. But I should be able to... I thought that was a real fly. Oh my gosh, I thought that was a real fly. I thought freaked out. I thought they killed a fly in the book. It is actually, like, inked on it. <laughs> wow, that scared me. Okay. So, I actually got this from the children's section or juvenile. What well, I don't even know what they call it. They say children's section over there. Because the young adult is totally on the other side. So this is not even a young adult book. But this is called Ruby Red for Look Into My Eyes. And this is actually book one of a series of, I think, six. Uh, Genius Codebreaker, Undercover Agent, 13-Year-Old. Ruby Redford's not your average kid. She's super smart, always ice cool, not to mention a gadget-laden secret agent with a talent for breaking codes, and she can keep her mouth shut. Can't she? 
Ruby and her butler, Hitch, work for an undercover crime-busting organization where break-ins, daring rescues, and life-or-death situations are all in a day's work, but always remember rule number one. You can never be completely sure what might happen next. So it says this is from a junior library section, which makes sense, actually, but this is only book one. There's actually six books, I believe. Oh, yeah. That would make more sense now. <laughs> Oh, the fly on the wall. I totally get it now. Wow, guys. Today is just not my day. I'm trying to see where it says. No, it just goes right into the chapters. It doesn't say that this is only book one. Gloria Child is the best-selling author and illustrator of the picture books about Charlie and Lola, who also star in their own TV series, as well as the series of award-winning books about the irrepressible Clarice Bean, where the character of Ruby Redford was first introduced. Since then, she has been inundated with letters from fans asking for Ruby Redford novels, so to all those fans, here it is. Gloria Child lives in London. It doesn't tell me. Okay, but anyway, if you look this one up, like here, I'll give it to you like this. If you look this up on Goodreads, it actually comes up with like six different ones. Because there's six books in one series. And then, yeah, so I have that one. And this Man from the Train and this It's Great to Suck at Something. Um, that I'm reading currently, and then I think I picked another book up. Um, I did. I went to the library today, so I picked another book up, like always, and this is hashtag I Mom So Hard. It's Kristen Hensley and Jen Smedley. I know it's pink, and it totally caught my eye. And it says, for all the moms who are expected to keep tiny humans alive and happy-ish, and the girlfriends who get you through it. And it looks like that on the back, and I was just like, yes, this is cute. I want to read this. I just lately really been into um, autobiographies or biographies, and I don't know why. I just am. So we have those four books plus this audiobook, two audiobooks, I believe. And I heard that song before by Mary Higgins Clark. So we've got seven books we have to get through before June. I think we can do it. So, with all of that being said, I'm actually going to go cuddle up with a book. And <laughs> I think I'm going to watch The Amityville Murders based on true events that I got from the library. And it's the new one from May 2019 or something. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, 2018. So... Alright, sorry, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!